Welcome back everyone to The Xamarin Show. I'm your host, James Montemagno, and today we're gonna do a little Xamarin Forms 101. I'm gonna introduce you to commands or commanding from our user interface. Now, if you watch our previous Xamarin Forms 101 on data binding, you can sort of think of this as the inverse of data binding, where data binding said, hey, whenever I update something in my code behind, update my user interface where commands say whenever my user interacts with my user interface, automatically invoke a method in my code behind. You can use them independent or together, most likely, using MVVM or model view view model architecture. And, those, and commands are found really uh, mostly with things such as buttons or toolbar items, where your user is clicking on something and instead of registering for events, you say, hey, call this method. So let's go ahead and set up a command inside of our application. Here I have a very simple Xamarin Forms application. Over here I have my Android, iOS application. And here inside my main view model, or my main page I should say, I have a button that says increase count and a label that has a data binding to display count. So what we wanna do is automatically uh, update this display count whenever I click on the button. So one way of doing this would to say, hey, let me just expose that button in the code behind here with x colon name. And then I can come into my main page code behind and say button name, uh, button count dot clicked plus equals, introduce a whole event, update it. But obviously here the problem is that this isn't super maintainable code or testable code. What we wanna do is leverage that MVVM architecture. Again, so model, view, view model. Take that business logic that we would write in the, in the page code behind and put it in a separate file and leverage some of Xamarin.Forms built-in features to automatically update. So let's take a look at what we have in the main page besides those buttons. We also have the binding context in place. And the binding context is the main view model. Now inside of that main view model, I've gone ahead and implemented I notify property changed and set up our binding uh, to display count, which you saw for the label. So whenever we update our count, we'll want to essentially say on property change, which we see here, to update the display count and that will tell Xamarin Forms to update. If you're brand new to data binding, take a look at the previous episode, which I'll put in the show notes below. But what we wanna do is do some commands. So what I have is a simple method called increase count. Whenever this method is called, it increases the count and updates that display count. So it says, hey, we've updated the count, go ahead and get the latest or freshest version of display count for me, but we need to call it. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna introduce a public I command, and I'm gonna call this up increase command. and this will be have a public getter behind it. Now an I command lives inside of the system windows input namespace. Now if I go to definition, we can see what's inside of it. It's actually a very, very simplistic interface. It has an event handler that says can execute changed, a method uh, that is can execute that takes in a parameter and returns true or false, and then an execute method that will execute something for us. Now the nice thing is that this is an interface. It's a standardized interface that's used in MVVM. The nice thing is that Xamarin Forms has a command implementation built in. So here I can add using Xamarin Forms. And then what we can do inside of our constructor is to say increase command equals new command. And Xamarin Forms command is really nice. It has a few nice little uh, helpers built right in. So for instance here, we can pass it an action or a method to execute. We can send it an action that's typed with a parameter. We can also pass it in function to say can execute. Can execute is very nice because based on the can execute, it returns true and false, Xamarin Forms will also update that button's enabled state. 
So that's a nice thing. So we can say, hey, actually disable it when it reaches 10. Or if the user hasn't entered perhaps uh, a username and password on a login screen. And additionally here, the same thing but with the typing. Now what we're going to do is simply pass in an action. So uh, since an action is just really a method, we can pass in increase count. There we go. Now increase command, whenever execute is called, will execute this method. The nice thing is that you can uh, go ahead and say increase command dot, and then you yourself can execute this command manually if you decide. So execute is what will be called whenever um, Xamarin Forms button command is clicked. But we can see here execute, can execute, and can execute change, and a few other things are here for us inside of that interface. Now, if you're using other popular MVVM frameworks, they may have their own command. As long as it is an implementation of I command, you're good to go. Xamarin Forms will work with any I command implementation. So now that's it. We've added a new one. Remember, this is public I command. So if we come back into our page on our button, we no longer need our x colon name. We're not going to expose anything in the code behind. And here I can say command. We're going to use the same exact binding that we use for any other data binding uh, for strings or integers or anything. But here we're just going to do a, a binding to our command. Now note that there's also command parameters that you can pass in and a few other things. And uh, be sure to read our documentation to learn more about kind of advanced commands. That, that's literally it. One command, when the user presses it, will then call into our increase count, which right here will increase our count and then raise a property changed. We'll go ahead and run this application again with all of our changes in place. So the nice thing that we have here is that, again, no code is in the code behind it all. Here we go. Our application is starting up. Now every single time I increase it or click on it, it increases the count. There we go. Every single time. And just like that, whenever I click, it's increased. The command's in place. Super testable code. And I'm good to go. Just like that, we've introduced commanding into our application, which pairs very nice with that data binding, which you saw earlier and inside of this code. Be sure to follow our series, Xamarin Forms 101, so you can get up and started building beautiful cross-platform native applications with Xamarin and Xamarin Forms. Hope you enjoyed this episode of The Xamarin Show. Be sure to check us out over at XamarinShow.com on Channel 9 and on YouTube, and subscribe to the latest episodes right down there or over there, wherever it's at. Ding that bell and get notified. Till next time, I'm James. This is The Xamarin Show, and thanks for watching.